welcome back to a new video. So today I'm going to be showing you guys my everyday makeup routine for days where I do actually bother to wear foundation. Um, it's super simple, nothing special to be honest, but I get a lot of requests for it. Before we jump into the video, I'm going to do my post notification shout out and today's one's going to go to Bouvanez Pillay. So thank you so much for your comment. If you guys want to get one next time, all you have to do is subscribe, press the bell button and then let me know in the comments below. I've already done my brows off camera and I do have my coat on because I'm bloody freezing. So I put the heating on and I wash my gown so that's just still drying. Anyways, maybe too much information. Let's start with moisturiser because that's what I do always. Um, I'm going to start off with my SPF. This is my NUX SPF 50. What is this called? Melting cream. This stuff is so nice. I'm then going to take some of my Embryolis Le Creme Concentré. You guys know I love this stuff. And this stuff is so nice under makeup. I was recently also sent the Embryolis... Um, what is this called? Radiant Eye. It's so cool, honestly. This is what it looks like. Um, it comes in a little stick like so and literally you just take it and kind of like put it under your eye and it's so cold this is the best thing in the morning i just put it under and on top of my eyes it's like so i've never felt anything like this it's so nice definitely recommend this stuff it's also moisturizing so the foundation that i've been using a lot is the georgia armani luminous silk foundation it's definitely my favorite foundation at the moment because it's really light and it's a really nice match as well it just it just looks really nice on the skin honestly it's just the perfect color for me so i tend to just like do two pumps kind of distribute that all over i'm gonna take my damp beauty blender Gonna make that look flawless. I know, Chichi. I know. I just love that. That foundation is so beautiful. So easy to blend. And then, obviously, I'm gonna take my Tarte Shape Tape. I mean, this has to be in this video because I use it every time. I use the shade Tan Sand. I don't put too much on a daily basis. Just like a swipe under each eye. in the inner corner as well i always forget that bit but it really makes a difference because it brightens that inner corner a bit this is the next product that i've been using every day it's the ultra hd powder in the shade 2 which is like the yellow powder by makeup forever it's honestly so nice i really like it because it just softens the skin I also set my eyebrows a little bit because they get a bit oily sometimes. I've been using the Hoola Caramel a lot lately. It's actually really nice. Just put a bit around my forehead. I also pinched a brush and I just like do it on the sides of my nose. Nothing like precise but just to add like a bit of colour there because sometimes I just feel like it's so like then for blush i've actually been reaching for my revolution pro 4k blush palette this is the is it was it the peach one and i grab i actually grabbed this shade i'm just gonna put that on the tops of my cheeks Lately, I've really been obsessed with my Ciate Dewy Stick. Um, it's really, really nice just for like a natural inner glow kind of look. I just use it with my finger and just tap it. 
It smells like vanilla as well. Like so. I always curl my lashes. The mascara I've been reaching out the most lately is the Revolution mascara. It's so, so nice. The reason why I like it is because it packs on a lot of product really quickly and that's what I need in the morning. Um, the other one I do like is the Maybelline Lash Sensational in Intense Black. That one's one of my favourites. Um, the Benefit Roller Lash I really like. Um, they're just all nice ones. I got a bunch of mascaras I love to be honest. I just can't think of them right now. Um, my sister got a new puppy and she wants a lot of attention so it's so hard to like film with her anyways um, but the problem with this revolution one is that it dries up really quickly um, yeah it dries up really quickly which is a shame but it's only well, actually it's £10 it's more than the Maybelline one but I really like this I don't know I, this is my second one I, I went out and bought this one I'm also going to take some of the bronzer and just brush that slightly in the crease just to give like a bit of definition but it's not like neat or anything I was recently sent the Hourglass Unreal High Shine Volumizing Lip Glosses and I just wanted to thank the team for sending me this like, I literally feel spoiled but I've been using this one here a lot um, since I received it it's so nice it's in the shade strike it's just like the perfect lip color for me and they're quite pigmented as well this is what it looks like up close and i literally just pop this on i don't know i really love it it has a minty like scent and taste almost but I'm not mad at it. Like, it's so comfortable. Not sticky at all. It looks like my lips, but better. Anyways, this is the finished look. I hope you guys enjoyed my everyday makeup routine. If I'm not wearing foundation, I do the same steps, but without the foundation, literally. So, yeah. I'll write down in the info box what I wore on my brows. It's usually the same thing. Um, I have a... Yeah, I either use my Maybelline one or the Benefit one. It just really changes. I need to get more diff. I need to get like different eyebrow products. I'm always using the same stuff. But anyways, thanks for watching, guys. I love you so much, and I will see you in my next one. Bye.